Is foam rolling beneficial or a complete waste of your time? Because let's face it, when you foam roll, you get into some weird positions. Often you get uncomfortable or even feel outright pain. So it would be a good thing if we didn't have to do it, right? That's why in this video, we're going to look at the science to find the answer. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Minus the Gym. And for anyone stumbling on this video who's new to the channel, Really quick, let me introduce myself. My name is Ryan. I'm a certified personal trainer, and I'm here to help you get in shape and get truly healthy with no gym necessary. And one of the best ways to do that is actually with this equipment right here, the foam roller. All right, this is a very affordable and simple piece of equipment that I think everyone should have, because for those of you who don't know what foam rolling really is, it's basically self-massage. The way you use a foam roller is that you lay over it, and you start rolling your body over the foam roller, targeting a specific muscle group and letting gravity apply the force. So you're massaging that muscle group. But recently on some of my mobility videos where I've talked about foam rolling and demonstrated it, I saw some comments come through saying that foam rolling is a waste of time and it's not effective. So I found some studies to show you and just so you know, a heads up, I am biased. I foam roll myself on the regular. So I'm going to show you some studies that clearly show that this is beneficial to our bodies. Now I'm going to put links to all three of these studies in the description box down below so you can read these on your own if you want to. The first one is by the International Journal of Sports Physical Therapy and it's a meta-analysis, meaning they looked at, uh, I believe it was 14 different studies to draw their conclusion. And what they said is the evidence suggests that self myofascial release or foam rolling may be effective interventions for enhancing joint range of motion and pre and post exercise muscle performance. So what they found here was that it can improve your range of motion, meaning improve your mobility short term. So this um, acute improvement in your range of motion and also your performance in your workouts after. So that's if you foam roll as part of your warm up. Now, another study that backs that up, at least on the performance side of things, is a small 16 person study in 2018 that was done at the University of Stirling in the UK. What they found is that after foam rolling as part of the warm up, the participants were able to produce the same amount of force with less effort, meaning that their strength performance had improved. And now a third study I wanna share with you focuses on recovery. And what this was, this was a study that was done to look at how foam rolling in your cool down can help you. Again, this was another small study. All right, a lot of fitness studies are small. This one had only eight participants. This was in the International Journal of Athletic Training. And what they found from this study was that if you foam roll as part of your cool down, you'll have reduced soreness after your workout, specifically soreness in the form of DOMS. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, DOMS is just an acronym that stands for delayed onset muscle soreness. And if you've ever done a workout that is outside of your comfort zone or outside of what you currently do, so you're going above and beyond, then you probably experience some extreme soreness that didn't start for at least 24 hours after your workout, sometimes like two days after your workout, you'll really feel it. And that extreme soreness might affect the way you can move. It might really restrict your movement. That is DOMS. And they found that you can reduce DOMS by simply foam rolling the muscle groups you just worked during your cool down. Now, again, these were a couple of them were pretty small studies, eight participants, 16 participants, right? but one of them was a meta-analysis, but take them with a grain of salt if you want. There's also plenty of testimonials out there from people saying that foam rolling has benefited them in many ways, and I'm one of them. I use foam rolling very regularly, all right? Right before I stretch, I like to foam roll. That's my favorite time to do it because I do notice the improvement in the range of motion. And when I have time, I'll do some foam rolling on the major muscle groups that I'm gonna work in my workout. What I have noticed most though, is that when I foam roll before stretching, I, I do have a better stretch session. I feel like I get deeper into it and I have a better range of motion. And that's why in my mobility videos that I've made in the past, I have highly recommended foam rolling and I've even made a whole video about how to foam roll. So make sure you check that out. I will put a link to that video in the description box down below as well. All right, so for all of you who are skeptical or just unaware of the benefits of foam rolling and other forms of self myofascial release like percussion massage guns, and even just general massage when you, know, you go to massage parlor, hopefully I opened your mind to this and you're gonna give it a shot, maybe pick up a foam roller from Amazon or something. 
And if I did help you, please hit that like button because that helps me out in return. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified every time I upload. And I will talk to you in the next video.